those of you who have been watching the channel for a while and followed the build of this vehicle in 2017 will know that this green is not paint but in fact a wrap. I think that you will agree that the Land Cruiser 78 is not the most beautiful of cars, trucks, vans. Now, one of the most common questions that I've been asked is how well the wrap has fared and also was it worth the money? I'm Andrew Cynthia White. Join me as I share my passion for building four-wheel drive trucks and then traveling to the remotest parts of the world. Now, as it is here, this wrap cost 3,500 Australian dollars. In the interests of transparency, Sinorama and 3M donated the wrap, but they did not donate the wear and tear. So the natural question is, is it worth spending this kind of money on your four-wheel drive to beautify and protect it? Now, I'm going to hold my verdict until the end of the video because I want you to decide whether you think I spent my money well. Firstly, the looks. Yeah. I was scared. Yeah. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So I was really worried that I just got it wrong. This is a beautiful truck. And whether you like the green or not, the fact is that because I was able to make it unique, that in itself is worth something. So perhaps, perhaps the best way of doing this is to say, okay, well, how much are these different things that wrapping give me? W w where do they sit on the prior my priority scale? And what are they worth to me? So let's say um, if I could just buy a new look for my vehicle and it looks fantastic and it looks unique, what would I prepared, be prepared to spend on that? The fact that it has protected the paintwork. Now, that's going to change for everybody because with a new vehicle, depending on the value of the vehicle and the re possible resale of value, the chance of reselling it, so if you're going to keep a vehicle for a short period of time, then the value of a wrap goes up because you're turning over a vehicle and then you, you can take this wrap off and it, it'll end up pristine. I can tell you now that underneath this is a brand spanking new white Land Cruiser Troop Carrier. Perfect. Perfect body, not a blemish on it. Now, what is the value of that to you? Now, to me, that's, that's, that's a lot. That to me is a lot. That, that's, that's a couple of grand right there. I mean, surely, so if, you are, if your vehicle is worth more than this, uh, then that figure will go up. And I recycle my vehicles every three to four years, so it's quite important to me to protect them. But I work my vehicles quite hard because of the kind of trips I do, particularly the body work. I can't, you know, I, I can be careful with suspension and I can drive it carefully and can look after it, which I do. But if there's a bush, and I'm going along the track, it's a bush. I can't avoid bushes. I'm not gonna not do trips because there are lots of bushes. So, so now what we need to do is we need to see how good it looks after two and a half years. 35,000 kilometers, several bush, bush tracks, um, several very long trips, and I would say that the wear and tear on the bodywork of this vehicle for its age is probably typical, if not a bit more than typical. I'm guessing, but that's kind of where I think it probably sits. If you do lots and lots of trails, particularly in, uh, next to the sea, and you've got that very, very tight bush and everything, you're going to have a little bit more wear and tear than I've got. But so that really now the best thing is to do is to actually have a look to see how well it's fared. 
The worst scratches and marks are at eye level, the height of bushes. There's far less lower down. And this here is probably amongst the worst. The powder coating here is showing distinct marks of scratching. There are marks and they're quite distinctive. But I am told with a little bit of methylated spirits most of those will come out. I haven't done it. I haven't done it on purpose because I wanted to, I wanted to show you exactly what it's like before I touched it. The car has been driving now. It's not even clean. Given the existing light here, the marks are easier to see. Again, on the powder coating, quite severe marks. And the leading edge here should be in very bad shape, but it isn't. But there are distinct marks on the wrap. The worst marks on the wrap are probably here. In my garage at home, I can see the marks a little better. Now, you can see quite clearly the marks there. This is now exaggerated because the light level is, is very oblique. And you can't actually see that in normal sunlight. And I've been told that with a bit of methylated spirits, those scratches will mostly come out. And is that the case? Mm, no, not really. Maybe a bit. There is one piece of damage on the vehicle where I don't know for sure, but the wrap might not have been thick enough to protect. And obviously that's a stone that has hit the bonnet and I can see the white paint underneath. If I had to do this again, I would put the bonnet protector uh, that uh, when I purchased it new, I would have put those, that on immediately after doing the wrap because that is the most vulnerable part of the vehicle. The interesting thing is that when they wrapped it for me, the detail and the attention to detail was, I thought, really, really good. For example, they um, did a bit of peeing here. They did the black here and the black here that I wanted, but they also wrapped around the vent here. You know, I thought to my, when I first saw it, I thought, wow, that's, that's amazing. How long is that going to last? Is that, is that going to stay like that? Well, so now, my verdict. If you're buying a new vehicle, it's a no-brainer. If you're buying a new vehicle and you intend to use it like we use our four-wheel drives, it, it, it is just, it is, it is more important than almost any other component of the car, save perhaps a good sound system. It's, it is, it is, fun. I mean, you, you, you tell me, but this particular color was a color that I chose. Now you can decide on, they have a, a number of colors that you can say, okay, I'll have that one or that one. And then, you know, they have metallic colors, all kinds of colors. Or you can say, I want a, and you can literally, like I did, uh, order a Pantone, which is a color grading system. I ordered the retro green because I, what's the color and the look I wanted and it didn't exist in their current catalog. How I arrived at those greens was that I first looked at lots of pictures and videos of my green troop carrier and decided that I wanted to do something similar but not the same. Now that troop carrier, the green, is a Toyota green that they used in the 1960s and 70s on FJ45s. So they printed it for me on a great big printer. Now, if you want to put decals on it, that's part of the deal. They just print them. They just print the decals. As they print this, they print the decals. So if you want a pattern, and they do it in layers. And so you can do anything you like, anything. There, is, there are no limitations. I kept it simple, one color with the Forex Overland logo on the side and a couple of flags. And of course, the other question is, has the color faded? I don't believe it's faded at all. Not one jot, which I guess has also surprised me a bit.